everybody's here, huh? We were told you want to trim this down a little bit, do a scrum style. Uh, he's shitting smart. It's, it's over. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> such a kidster. I thought you were out the other night in, in Anaheim, dude. I thought you were really leaving. Yeah, I got you for a sec. I know some of the reporters that know me were like, fuck. I know, everyone was like, damn, he's really, I was like, he's, he's really gone, good. he's gone, he's gone. Well, Jorge, talk to us uh, about what you did this morning, man. I see you sporting the U right now, but uh, you, were, you were kind of royalty down there this morning. Yeah, yeah, I went, I went to go meet some of the baddest uh, motherfuckers in the football game. The U, man, everybody knows about the U, and um, I just went over there, just give them a little bit of my history, my knowledge, who I am, where I come from a little bit. And shit, you know, just uh, get them hyped for their game. You gonna be there? I think so, yeah. Dan Lambert, Abraham Cowell, they're making sure I get there, you know. So I think we're gonna, you know, fucking catapult me over there because I ain't driving. I don't feel like driving. I've been on the road too much. I finally get home. I thought this weekend I was gonna hang out, fucking get Uber Eats and shit, and get fat and play video games, but nah, nah, I gotta get back on the road. But we saw you on Saturday, but we saw you before the Nate Diaz fight. So yeah. now that we're seeing you after, let's get your thoughts on that fight. And of course, you know, him saying that he wants to fight you, there was a big smile on your face. Oh, huge smile. I mean, not just for the not just for the point that we could both make money, because I think I'm as popular as I've ever been, and same with Nate, you know, so it just would make sense on the financial side. But on the side of being a fan, who doesn't want to see these two dogs get locked up in the cage and go? You know, which one's more dog at the end of the day? Let's find out. There's theories out there, right? There's a lot of back and forth talk. Let's just find out. Let's just find out who is the biggest dog in the division. Because that fight's going to tell you who the fucking biggest dog in the division is, you know? So it's a no-brainer. I mean, we're not even, me and Nate ain't even going to have to do too much press conference because the fight speaks for itself, man. People are just going to want to see that shit. You're going to pay your hard-earned money to see that. So you got to compensate me for that. <laughs> You know, if the baddest motherfucker belt is on the line, yes, does, it, sir. does that mean it has to go five rounds or three rounds? What's, what, what do you think? Man, I, I go which, whichever one has the most zeros are tied to it, my brother. You know, if it's got more zeros, that's just, you want eight rounds, ten rounds? Cool, you just got to pay me a little bit more. Was it nice to kind of get that recognition from Nate? You know, he, he was like, you know, there's really no, no other answers here in the game. You know, give me a more. Definitely, you know, um, Nate's always fucking done his thing win or lose I always cheer for the guys just give it their all man if you just fucking give it your all I'm always a fan of those guys this this dude's always giving it his all I thought he beat Connor in the second one too so he's got two wins on Connor not a lot of people got that you know and uh it's gonna be a fucking firework fight man I mean I'm going for the off button I know Nate's going for the off button let's just do it you know so he gave you props he did say at the end he really knew gangster is he understanding the 305 Nah, he's, he's 100% accurate with that. I'm not a West Coast gangster. Shout out to California, LA, Vegas. I got a lot of people over there. But I'm from Miami, playboy. Ain't fucking ain't seen that hat. I'm a fucking Miami goon, man. Make sure y'all get that shit. Miami don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. I'm a goon from Miami, man. The biggest one you ever seen. When, when, when does this fight need to happen? Because you're right. I don't think there's another fight that anybody else wants to see right now. So when is when, when, when are we going to do this? We're going to do it this year. Let's see how the UFC plays. Is they going to play hardball or are they going to give in to what the fans fucking want? Are they going to listen to the fans or not? The fight doesn't get made. It's not because I don't want it or Nate doesn't want it. It's because we're not getting what we want, you know? It's, just, it's sad to say, you know? That'd be the only way it doesn't go down. I mean, are we talking just like major figures here? What type of money are we talking about? I mean, you know... So we're going to have to take out a loan to pay this thing? Or? What up? You asking? Because you should know. You've been in this sport a long time. You didn't just ask that question. We're going to... I'm going to men in black everybody here reset that moment. He just didn't ask that question. Is this big money? He didn't ask that question. I just he know, how many he knows. How, he how knows. This is, I won't even leave the house. I'm not I'm not even playing. I won't even leave the house. If it's not in the show. I won't even get out of bed, man. I don't give a fuck. Is there a backup plan? What if the UFC won't deliver? No is there a backup plan? Fuck it. There's no backup plan. I don't think that far ahead. I just know I didn't put my ducks in a row. Nate did the same thing. We're in a collision course. We gotta get compensated for it, man. That's it. That's all we're fucking saying. That's all I'm fucking saying, man. Just wanna get compensated for my fucking services. Did you have any hint going into that weekend that he was interested in fighting you? Like, was there any rumblings about I mean, that, or was uh, it a surprise? <coughs> I always thought there'd be a chance, you know, because it, it's just from a standpoint of a fan. If I was in Nate's shoes, I'd like I would have called him out too. 
because of what it'll do, which is this, you know, everybody wants to see that fight. The hardcore fans, the casual fans, whoever the fuck you are, you don't want to see that fight. So I, I was surprised and I wasn't, you know? What does it mean to you, uh, where is it, self-proclaimed goon from Miami that one of the most iconic Not self-proclaimed, my brother. Don't do that. Don't do that because they'll catch you in the parking lot. <laughs> they'll get you. Somebody will get you. Don't do that. Is, Not self-proclaimed, nothing. What, what does that mean to you, George, that your city wants you to, uh, you know, the university might want you to speak to them? Like, it's gotten, That's to, a, that, to, gotten to that kind of point. That's an honor and it's humbling for them to recognize that, man, I've been doing this for a while in sports. In a very violent sport, a lot like football is, and, um, and I've been holding my own. So I'll come give some words of wisdom, get these boys hyped up. They left me with the last words for them before they go off into that game, you know. So I thought that was pretty humbling, man. It kind of humbled me up, you know. What was, uh, what was it, the moments like with Coach Diaz? Uh, did you guys uh, get to share anything? Did he pick oh, you yeah, yeah. On, on mentality? Yeah, we, we talked a little bit. They invited me to a practice that's going to happen on Tuesdays and I forgot what they were saying now, but they have the more rougher practice. And I was like, man, I would love to see that. So they invited me. I'm going to go check it out either this week or next week. And then uh, I talked to the strength and conditioning coach, too, as well. Picked his brain a little bit, obviously. I'm an MMA dude. I got to gotta talk to the strength and conditioning guy. And then just saw the drills, man. It's fucking awesome. That's the first time I've ever been behind the scenes of a high-level, high-level, high like, football practice. And for the first time, I get to see the Canes. That's fucking nuts, you know? It's pretty dope, man. High the 